Okay, we're now going to assemble two strips, two rows of the A plates together, which is the part that a lot of people have been asking me about the most. So let's start that assembly. Alright, so you need a piece of paracord three times longer than the row that you're going to assemble. And make a little plastic rivet head. Here, focus in on that. Make a little plastic rivet head on your paracord and a little plastic needle. As I instructed earlier, don't burn yourself. Okay. So, you want to start by put through the bottom large hole and that plastic rivet head won't go through and then you will try to do this loosely so you can see it So you see that that, that the paracord actually goes through the larger hole twice. Actually goes through the larger hole twice. Now of course you don't want this loose. You want to pull that tight. While you're assembling this, unlike the, with the D plate, you're going to want to assemble it loosely and then go back and tighten it. This way you can see what you're doing a little bit better. It's a trade off. You know, you this part's a little bit slower than the D plate, but there's half as many plates. So this is still faster assembly wise. Going to tighten it up and show you the back side. So you see how that's how that's going because it's going in and out the same hole. It's like a nice solid straight line stitch coming across the back. You can do this from the back side.
Okay. So now we have our two rows placed together. Ah. Uh, eh. There we go. And you'll see that this has a bit more compression possible than the D plate rows. There's actually a little bit of movement here and you can actually increase that or decrease that on how tight you pull when you go back and pull out your slack and how do you finish this off. Well, paracord is really nice in the fact that it will melt to itself. Get your finger out of the way. And when you get it melted enough that this comes apart, you've got enough. See how it came apart? Press it in. Smish it down. Not going anywhere. Okay.